Welcome back to MilesWeb channel. In this video, you will learn how to enable Cloudflare for a domain name in cPanel. First, we'll see what is Cloudflare and the importance of Cloudflare in the hosting environment. Cloudflare is a content delivery network technology that accelerates the website speed and protects it from various online threats. Cloudflare is easy to set up, affordable, and offers a great performance. There are two methods through which you can enable Cloudflare in cPanel for domains. First, provision domain with CNAME setup, and second, provision domain with full zone setup. Now we'll see the difference between provision domain with CNAME setup and provision domain with full zone setup. A CNAME setup doesn't need any change of your DNS provider. It simply requires pointing any subdomain to Cloudflare by means of a CNAME record in order to add domain to Cloudflare. On the other hand, full DNS setup requires an update of the existing DNS provider to Cloudflare's DNS, where Cloudflare becomes your authoritative DNS. This means you will need to update your name servers to the name servers provided by Cloudflare once the domain is added to Cloudflare. Now, let's start with the first method that is provision domain with CNAME setup. Login to cPanel. Navigate to software section. Under that, click on Cloudflare. You can see the Cloudflare dashboard. Here, we have already added our digital cam domain. Now, click on domains. In the use Cloudflare section, you get the status as inactive by default. Click on provision domain with CNAME setup. Here, you get all the DNS records. Then Cloudflare for a domain name gets enabled. Now, for the second method, simply click on provision domain with full zone setup. In the use Cloudflare section, you get the status as pending by default. Make sure that the name servers provided to you must be updated from the domain registrars. Here, you can see all DNS records. The DNS records which you wish to route through Cloudflare CDN should be enabled. And you are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Give a thumbs up if you found it useful. Reach out to us on this email ID for any of your technical queries. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos.